This is 15-year-old Sahar Gul. Afghan police say they found her badly beaten, her hair ripped from her head, her fingernails removed and starving. She was found locked in the basement of her in-law's house, allegedly because she refused to be forced into prostitution. Police say they're waiting for her to fully recover to learn more. The in-laws have been arrested, but police say the husband fled. Her story is just one of many cases of violence against women in Afghanistan. Women have actually made a lot of progress in Afghanistan in the last decade. Since the discussions of the, uh, of the U.S. withdrawal and foreign troops withdrawal, violence has started increasing. And we have to pay attention to that, not only as it, uh, as it impacts women, but as it tells us the story of what is happening in Afghanistan. In another case, a 21-year-old Afghan woman, identified only as Gulnaz for her protection, was sentenced to 12 years in prison for adultery after she reported being raped by her cousin's husband. It was reported that she'd agreed to marry her attacker to be released from prison. Her story attracted international attention. She was later freed after President Hamid Karzai intervened. The Afghan Independent Human Rights Commission reported 1,026 cases of violence against women in the second quarter of this year. And more than 2,700 cases were reported in 2010. And according to a recent Oxfam report, 87% of Afghan women reported being abused physically, sexually, psychologically or being forced into marriage. Becky Anderson, CNN, London.